The first alarm was transmitted just after midnight for a fire in the headhouse of a grain elevator. The 85-year-old wooden elevator, containing 1.3 million bushels of corn, was ablaze as the first alarm companies arrived. Limited water and intense heat made it difficult to get close to the fire. The falling power lines provided an early highlight to the spectacular show that would continue for days. Before the days of reinforced concrete, grain elevators standing over 100 feet tall were constructed of two-inch planks laid flat and interlocked at the corners. To permit removal of the grain, the bins were supported on trestles made of heavy timber that raised them above the working floor. The headhouse was constructed of much lighter timber and rested on top of the bins. Some five or six stories tall itself, the headhouse provided the space in which grain was cleaned, weighed, and distributed to the bins. Over a block long, a grain elevator of this type was essentially a vertical lumber yard filled with flammable and frequently explosive grain. Once a fire has started in this type of structure, it is almost impossible to stop. During the last 100 years, the Minneapolis Fire Department has had at least 70 such fires. As the fire burns into the night, the dark sky becomes the stage for the dance of the fire devils.